It's a long, grueling two to three day process to be, uh, you know, uh, to be interviewed as a professor and so forth. But I went back to northern Canada, um, you know, working in a mining town there at a mine. And, um, and uh, soon after I got back, uh, um, you know, the phone rang within minutes after getting back from the airport. And as I picked up the phone and the department head, Mary Poulton, was, was there and I said, hello, Mary. And my wife yells out, he'll take it, he'll take it. So. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to become a professor. I knew I wanted to do the entrepreneurial thing. And they said, here in the United States, in an engineering department, you're sort of encouraged to work with industry, which is what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and look at our design versus actual. I decided to continue to pursue my interest in data mining solutions. There's been a big revolution in data, a lot of data availability. My company and research is focused on trying to derive additional value uh, from that data. We're in the Mine Intelligence Research Group control room at the University of Arizona in the basement of the Mines Building. And essentially what you're seeing here is um, several mines data coming in real time and displayed in different ways. But what you're seeing here is a, is a product uh, called uh, Pegasus and essentially it's a dragline monitor. Obviously the visualization is very cool, but what we really need from this, what drives value is analyzing the performance, performance of the operator, where the material is going, and maybe even mixing that with other information. But what you're seeing up here is what's called a dashboard. What this is really meant to do is just meant, it's like looking at your watch. It's just to find out how the mine is doing at any particular point in time. This report used to take two hours to build. Essentially, he just opened up data system after data system and pulled the data into an email. You don't need to do that anymore. All data systems should be available remotely, so you can pull those numbers in automatically. We have lots of information in mining, and we have to recognize that our assets are not only the big iron machines uh, or our big ore bodies, but it's also all the information that we have about ore bodies, about the big machines, about people, about safety, and we have to understand that that information has value if we use it.